Hello, everyone. You're watching Beyond 100 Days with Nifemi Oguntoye. Uh, well, it seems that the, some major telcos are in, uh, going through um, some downtown, uh, downtime rather. You know, someone jokingly said on social media that telcos are contributing their quotas to frustrate many Nigerians. Uh, we're following that story very closely to find out why people can make calls and send messages as at this time. Well, you can join the conversation, if you can, online um, on X using the hashtag Beyond 100 Days. Remember to tag at TVC News NG. President Bola Tinubu has paid a condolence visit to the family of the late Ondo State Governor Oluwaru Timi Akirudulu. The president in company of the State Governor Lakaye Datiwa is deputy and the former APC National Chairman Bisi Akonde uh, was in Owo, the hometown of the former governor, where... He visited the widow, children, and some other relatives of the deceased. Uh, President Tinubu comforted uh, Mrs. Becky Ayawa Kiridalu, urging her to remain strong and find solace in the legacy of a late husband. Earlier, the president visited the Olowovo, Oba Ajibade Gbade Gessin Ogunye, where he was received by members of the Undo State Council of Traditional uh, Rulers. The Olowovo thanked the president for his visit and promised the support of the traditional rulers for his administration. The president is scheduled to meet with um, the social, political, uh, cultural group, Afeni Ferry, and its leadership in Accra. And in Abuja, after years of clamor by Nigerians, President Tinubu has ordered the full implementation of the Stephen Oronsai report. If the report is implemented, several agencies of government uh, would be merged, scrapped, or relocated. And that's towards cutting the cost of governance. Ayodele Uzubako examines the recommendations of this report. We cannot continue to lag behind. In 2012, the administration of President Goodluck Jonathan set up the Presidential Committee on the rationalization and restructuring of federal parasitals, commissions, and agencies. The committee was headed by a retired civil servant and former head of service of the Federation, Stephen Orosai. And then there were statements that were subject. The committee recommended the scrapping and merging of 220 out of the 541 statutory and non-statutory agencies. The 800-page reports of the committee noted that the functions of most government parasitals and agencies are overlapping. Of the original total contracts. As such, the committee, in its report submitted in 2012, recommended the reduction of statutory government agencies from 263 to 161. In the global ICT age. As part of its recommendation, the committee suggested abolishment of 38 agencies, merger of 52, and reversion of 12 to departments in the ministries. Why there should be large differentials in In 2014, the committee on the white paper of the Oracle report submitted its own report. 12 years after the recommendations were made, two review committees, the federal government is set to implement the recommendations. President Tinobu ordered the implementation of the Oracle report at the Federal Executive Council meeting on Monday, 26th of February. According to the plan, Numerous agencies will be scrapped, others combined or restructured to cut rising costs of governance. So it's a report that have been that have been in place for almost a decade, if not more than. And uh, the motive is to, I mean, was to streamline uh, government expenditure, most especially in the in the area of uh, cost and uh, carrying out uh, the responsibilities of uh, government parasitals and agencies. Uh, going by what this government stands for, which is uh, prudence, accountability, and you know, uh, transparency in governance, it is important that the president you know, assess and probably set up a committee to look into how they can see a way of implementing, if not all the report, at least a, a good part of the report so that uh, you know, Nigeria can move forward from there. The government assured workers that that would not affect jobs. To demonstrate its resolve, the administration has considered a committee to implement the report within 12 weeks. The committee will be headed by the secretary to the government of the Federation, Judge Akume. The National Assembly is expected to play a crucial role in the implementation of the report as the legal framework or enabling act of some of the agencies needs to be amended. 
ayodile otu wapo tv news abuja